Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to uh, make a YouTube page like mine is right now. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll get started. First of all, you want to have this template downloaded. Um, the link is in the description. And drag it right into GIMP. Now this will open GIMP with the template. <coughs> Um, first thing I'm gonna do, uh, well, first thing I'm gonna do, make this 45%, not 34, 45, enter. Um, because I want to see the whole, um, <clears throat> picture. And I'm gonna, um, well, 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 there are no layers, okay. Um, I'm gonna click, um, the select by color tool, click it, and then, uh, click the white color. Make a new layer and um, fill it with any color you like. Uh, fill it with black. I'm sorry. Sorry. Ah. Mm. All right. You're gonna fill it with black. It was already black. Um, now you're gonna click Control A, Shift Control Shift A to select none. I'll go to background and I'll go to gradient and um, I like to do a radio. You can do anything um, though. Um, and select two colors which you like. I'm gonna select this greenish or well, green. Well, yeah, it is green. And um, this light color here, like that. And make sure the color you want inside is the first front color. And just go from somewhere in the middle. Go right to the outside like that. To the corner what's best. Now you're gonna go to that layer and you're gonna percent it down to fifteen percent. Um, and now you're gonna go to the text tool. Oh, we're gonna um, yeah, text tool. And um, now you wanna put your name. I'm gonna put Mini because Mini Gimper is my name. So yeah. Now make the color black. Um, make. Font I'm gonna do Helvetica or something. Helvetica, something like that. And then Helvetica. Hel the. There you go. That's a nice one. Uh, size 100. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna um go and duplicate that layer. Uh, I'm gonna go this tool. I'm gonna color white. All right. So uh, now, if you put this to front, oh, black. So the white ones in front. Um, go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and make it ten. Or you can make it anything. I like to make it ten. Uh, now you go secondary click and click text to selection. Go to the second one and click edit clear. Go to this one and click delete layer. Uh, click control shift A to select none. And now duplicate it uh, four times. So you have five layers. What was it there? Three, four, five. Uh, now merge them all down. I'm going to go here, layer, merge down, layer. Merge down, layer, merge down. All right. Uh, click the rotate tool. Uh, make sure it's negative ninety degrees. Click enter. Click rotate and um, go to the move tool and move it so it's just along that darker green line on the with the bottom. All right. So like that. See this white line is where the dark. You see? You know what I mean? Okay. Um, and now you're gonna go to duplicate layer, and you're gonna move the layer up. Make sure um, as you move it, you can see down there. Um, it says here down here where my mouse is right now. It says move, and it says how much you move. Make sure the first value says zero, and the second one says minus two hundred. Then do that all along. I'm gonna pause it for now because it, um, it will take up all my time if I don't. Alright, um, as you can see here, I did it with all of them. So I've, I've duplicated this layer. 
this layer, which is selected right now, and I pulled it up by 0 and 200. Then I duplicated this and pulled it up by 0 200, so it's always like that. Um, now you're going to link them all, all the mini layers, all the layers which are called mini. I don't mean like small layers or anything. Uh, select the move tool, go to the layer you're on, make sure that this um, other symbol is there, see? There's that symbol, and as soon as you're on it, it will change on the mouse cursor. And move it so it's about centered. Make sure on the move part it still says zero again. So that's nice and fun looking. Okay, that's good. Um, and now do the same thing for Gimper, or well, for the second one you want to display only make it um, rotate the other way so I'm going to show you what it looks like just in a second alright now I created the word gimper in the same way as I created the word mini so we're going to rotate that by 90 degrees this time not negative 90 Whoops. and click rotate select the move tool and move it right up to the top so that it's on that darker green um, edge there uh, now do the same thing, but this time, um, when you click duplicate, make sure it moves down and down by zero and three hundred negative. I don't know, zero and three hundred fifty. All right. It will probably be hard to get the three hundred fifty. So what I'd recommend doing is zooming into about two hundred percent, bring it right to the side there, and let me just. All right, and <clears throat> and then doing it. then you can get it more exact. Oh, yeah, there it was. 350 and 0. 0. Ah, there you go. Do that uh, all along, all down ways until... Don't make sure... Um, oh, let me just zoom out. Make sure it's never, like, cut off so it's not half a word or something because that will look stupid. Okay, let me do that all the way down. Alright, I did say uh, I'll do it all the way down, but only one more fit it. Un otherwise uh, one word would have been cut off so unlink all the mini layers and link all the gimper layers well depending on what you wrote well I wrote that but usually you probably wrote not my name but yours or something and move it down to zero and so that it's centered um, like that about yeah I just maybe one pixel down or something um yeah that doesn't make a big difference but all right. Um, the next thing you want to do, you want to click File, Open as Layers, and you want to get the picture, which will also be up. Oh, not that one. Uh, that one. Open. And you want to scale it down a bit because it's a bit too big. Uh, hold down Control to make it nice. See like that. Uh, to keep the aspect ratio. Right. Yeah. Is that how you pronounce it? Like that. I think that's good. Uh, click scale and then use the move tool to center it as you think it's good um, and now you're done now all you have to do is click file save as save it wherever you want um, just make sure it's like desktop well make sure it's somewhere you don't remember um, make sure it's dot p uh, dot jpeg so let's name it anything let's name it uh, mini gimper dot jpeg because jpeg will be a small file size and it can be bigger than 256 kilobytes, I think. PNG is too big. It won't work. Click save. The PNG file for this would be like 1,000 kilobytes or something. And make it something between 70 and 80 um, quality. It could also be 85, I, I think, but I'm going to make it 80 anyway. Click save. I'll go to your desktop. And here's your thing. Um, now, you can click get info. And it will tell you that it is 82 kilobytes. Um, so that perfectly, that can you can do that per um, put that up to YouTube perfectly. Now the reason that I um, that you would shouldn't cut this off because you won't click repeat background, so that's not like here green and then um, below that it's only white, and you don't want cut off words linking to a normal word again. Um, if you get what I mean. If you don't, then I only have time like 20 seconds left, so I can't explain it to you right now. But yeah, this is my video, um, thanks for watching you guys, and um, see you guys soon.